Hello, people of the internet. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do some inking, so I thought maybe I could record this. <laughs> uh, forgive me. Uh, I I don't know what I'm doing, but it seemed like some fun, you know. Uh, people like to watch this. I like to watch this too. On the internet, I watch a lot of like, uh, you know, Mark Quilly. He's great. I love him. Uh, so I thought maybe I could do the same thing. It would be nice. Hmm. What should I talk about? Oh. Maybe I should tell the people of the internet uh, <laughs> something about myself. Well, I'm Kat. And I like to draw. Maybe you can tell. I drew this myself. I think it's kind of cute. Um, yeah, it's some character that my sister likes. I don't, I don't really watch a lot of anime. Like I, I try. Uh, I think it's cute. It's really cute. But uh, don't really have that much time right now. I'm in college. It's nice here. I like it here. Uh, I'm in a very nice college. Inking is very relaxing. I enjoy it very much. I haven't drawn in a while, actually. I drew this maybe... Hmm. I drew this, like... In the summer? Well, I started it in the summer. And I finished it... When this quarter started. For school. So, I guess that was around, like... Hmm. Like two weeks ago. Maybe more. I'm not really sure. Forgive me if I'm holding this all wrong. You know. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Can you tell? Hmm. Well, uh, should I try to teach people? Are people watching this to learn things? <laughs> I'm not a good teacher. But. <laughs> I guess uh, something that my sister always asks me is how do I make such straight lines? I don't really think they're very straight, but you know, I guess they kind of look straight if you don't look too close. Do you want to look very close? This is going to be weird. Let's look weird. Ah. It won't focus. Oh, there you go. That's very close. Is that too close? <laughs> Probably. Well. What what I do is I try to make them like like feathers, you know what I'm talking about? Mm. I make the strokes back and forth. And that way I get straighter lines. Because when you do something very fast, the lines end up being more straight than if you do something really slow. Like, let me see, let me let me bring an example. Uh that's that's my homework. Isn't it terrible? Yeah, okay. So <laughs> so um, like for example, this line looks much better than that line. See, this this second line is super wiggly. Although, you do get this fuzzy effect. Uh, if you're careful, that's usually not a problem. I'm not too careful, but I think I manage. Hmm. I don't know, I thought... I've always drawn this way, I think. When I was very little, I... I figured it out. I like drawing. <laughs> I draw a lot. <laughs> it's, if it sounds like I'm coughing, though, I'm, that's just how I laugh. I know. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm not sick. Uh, I don't know how much I'll ink of this. I guess I'll I'll link this until my roommates come back. I suppose I'm doing this because I'm bored and I want some company. And what better than company from people that I spend all my time with? People on the internet. <laughs> I have a YouTube addiction. It's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I think I'm funny, you know? <laughs> I'm sure no one else is. <laughs> Mm. 
I think the hardest part about this drawing, oh, I'm not even looking at the right place. The hardest part about this drawing, I would say, is this part right here, the curve, because it's really hard to place that, because, I guess, because a lot of people have different structure in their faces, and I don't know, I just, I just find that difficult, personally. So if I move out of frame, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm trying to film this and also talk and be able to look at the paper. It's actually a difficult process, I would say. But don't worry, I have very, very strong wrists <laughs> from work. I wash dishes. It pays well. <laughs> this sounds like a like a sad college student conversation. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, I wash dishes. Yeah, eh, it pays well. I mean, I guess it does, you know? It's a nice job. I like it. There's very nice people where I work. And it's always great because I love people. Wow, how do people do it, you know? Like, they spend all this time just talking to themselves. I don't talk to myself that much. This feels weird. You know, you run out of topics. But I can manage. I'm a very talkative person. Maybe too talkative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure my mom would agree. <laughs> so, what do I talk about? Hmm. Let's see. I don't know, recent events? There seems to be something going on with, like, Facebook is making a thing. I don't really use Facebook, but, but they're doing this, like, VR thing, and it seems cool. I don't know. I'm interested in tech. Very interested in tech. You know, you'd, you'd think I'd have, had, I'd have better technology if I'm so interested in tech. But <laughs> this is what I got. I got this fancy pen, though. You want to see what my pen does? It's so fancy. Wait. Wait, let me. Ah! Ah! Okay. I'll stop. <laughs> I'm having fun, okay? Don't. You know, like, my YouTube addiction is so bad that while I'm doing this, guess what I'm doing? I am watching YouTube. <laughs> yes. I am watching YouTube. <laughs> okay. Back to drawing. Um, well, I'm not sure what, you know, if people would ask, like, what should I ink first? I guess I like to start with parts that are easier. Like, right now, I'm working on the hair because, I mean, a lot of people think hair is really hard. But I feel like it's a lot of straight lines. And for me, that's not too bad. I don't think I, I tried to give her like shoulder pads because I didn't know what to do with her shoulders. And like 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 a cool um uh, bandage in thing instead of an actual shirt, you know. I don't know. I guess I was inspired by Ichigo Kurosaki. I don't know. Ever since I watched that anime, I can't stop trying bandages. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I guess it, it it does have a lot of fillers, but they're not too bad. Maybe I should get closer because this is a small part, the eye. Apparently I can't okay, let's let's try that. Oh, I found a way to to do this. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm I'm learning while I'm recording this. Um, I found a way so I can use my other hand. Oh, I have two. Isn't that great? Well, I guess another challenge comes with this. Because when I'm drawing, like, round shapes, like the eye and the hair, everything, it's, it's usually a lot easier if I can move the paper. But because of what I'm doing right now, I can't, I can't really do that, you know? Mm. I'm worried about what I'm going to do when it comes to the nose. I guess I'll just 
do uh, coloring there. I don't know, I don't usually color any of my drawings. Just personal preference. I don't know, I like the black and white aesthetic. I think it's pretty cute. Mm, I don't know what gender this character is. If anyone knows who this character is, they're probably crying about about any incongruencies. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I will. I'm interested to know about this character, but I was just trying to make a drawing. You know, I think it came out pretty nice. It's cute. This character is a girl. Uh, I thought it looked kind of like a girl, so I decided to make it a girl, as you can see by the cuteness. This is going to be a very cute character. I wonder if I'll, <laughs> I'll make it... Mm, I think I should color it. I think it would look very nice colored. Uh, I don't think... I think it looks really good through the angle that I'm using right now. This this method, this very janky uh, stand that I have created is working quite well. So I'll move on to, I'll start twisting my paper around. I don't know, should I fill them in? Hmm. I think I'll leave it blank for now, in case I want to fill it in like a color, if I want to make the hair a color that's not black, I don't know. This, this, I think my, I think this is based off of like an image that my sister found on the internet, I'm not really sure, I don't, it was a while ago. Cause I, I was looking at it right now and I was like, wow. Those are a lot of little things up there, you know? There's lots of things. <laughs> Great vocabulary skills. Oh, look at all those things, you know? Uh, yeah, this is a thing. You pour things into it, and you eat it with this thing, and you can wear this thing. <laughs> oh, here's the thing that pours the things. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> one day. One day I'll be funny. I'm not sure what I was trying to accomplish here with this... Uh, eye patch. It's a little confusing, so I'm just making it up, you know. And if you like, did you see what I did? I messed up a little bit. I went into the hair with the eye patch a little bit. Yeah, that'll just. I can fill that in with shadow later. I can make the hair a color, and it'll it'll work out. Let's see. Mm, I think I was making like. A knot. This kind of looks like a knot, right? Look at that. Eh, looks like a very strange knot. I don't know. I guess I'll ask my friend who knows how to tie knots. If this is a thing, yeah. Because I wouldn't know. I'm not in Boy Scouts. Or, or Girl Scouts. Or any Scouts. This is working so well, I'm very surprised. <laughs> uh, if you notice any weird things happening. I swear, I swear, it's it's because my phone cannot record so many things at once. Huh. I think a very common error that a lot of people do is that when they make lines like this, like a swooping line or like, like hair too, something that disappears in the middle, like with here, they don't actually continue the line. Like I've seen people like make the line very wide here and then they have like a very small string leading off. And I guess that could happen if it got smaller, but it kind of messes up the illusion that, that it's actually continuing, that it's not just like a drawing, you know? Because people look at these things and they're like, oh, I can tell what this means with my brain. And that's why when we look at little kid drawings, we're like, what, what are you doing, uh, Susan? What is this? Susan? <laughs> I don't know, I like that name. Susan is a nice name. I wonder if there's any Susan watching this being like, what? <laughs> I hate my name. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people hate their name. <laughs> I used to hate my name. 
I don't know what this emblem is. Uh, I guess I'm making it up now because I, I don't really know what the original drawing looked like that I based this off. And I, I noticed that my chain was a little bit like off. So I'm making a new one a little bit. See, look, it was right there. Do you see the little bit of shading? Yeah, that was where I drew it. Not too great. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I like the um, Japanese style of drawing. I think it's really cute. Of course, I don't. I don't think I can fully uh, replicate it because it's it's not how I naturally draw. I I draw a bit more realistic. Although I do see that like a lot of my drawings end up being very lanky. Not as lanky as XXXholic. I know that is not an adult anime. Well, maybe it is because it's a dark theme. But it's about ghosts. It's it's pretty cool. I would recommend it. It does take a while to adjust to the drawing style, though. Because, well, if if you look at it, you'll 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 see what I mean. I think I'm gonna make a little ridge for the nose here. I think that's something that a lot of. Uh, People who actually know what they're doing do. It's a thing that they do. <laughs> they draw a little ridge. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's. I'm trying to make things look proper. So now the edge of the hat. See what I mean with the long strokes? They end up being more straight than they would be if I was going very slowly. But. I guess at some points it is good to go slowly. So if I did it at any point, I'm not lying. <laughs> uh, well, I'm covering things, but how else will I draw this? Uh, no hurry. There we go. Oh, that's turning out pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if I'll ink this whole thing. I keep thinking that maybe I will. My roommates are not back yet, so this is nice. Procrastinating on my homework. <laughs> this girl is dressed in a very pirate fashion. I'm not sure how to describe it. She looks like a gothic pirate. Yes. I think the original drawing had some skulls on the cape. I'm not sure if I want to do that. I was thinking maybe like some stars would be nice. Like I'll make some galaxies or something. I think that would be nice. Although usually I don't finish papers. I don't um, draw them. Well, that's not what I mean. <laughs> English. <laughs> it's not my first language. I have an excuse. But mm, I usually don't color my drawings on paper. I like to scan them and then color them digitally. Not that not that I know what I'm doing with that either, but okay. So, I just had a horrible moment. <laughs> uh, running out of space, you know. 16 gigabytes, not the greatest. Oh no, my pen. <laughs> it doesn't want to ink. <laughs> there we go. I love this pen. I got it uh, when I graduated from my first college. I'm not that old though. <laughs> it's a beautiful pen. Oh, it's also a stylus. Isn't that amazing? It's not a very good stylus, but you know. This is coming from a stylus knob, so whatever. <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt. There we go. Uh, so I'm trying to make the back of this hat indented, like very slightly, because a lot of hats have like a thing to hold towards the back, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not a, don't quote me on that. I'm not a hat expert. 
but this is what I imagine the hat structure would be like. <laughs> so, there we go. I guess it kind of looks like a ranger's hat. Doesn't really match the piratey fashion of of everything else, you know. She looks very cool. <laughs> but I tried. I feel like it's a mix of a lot of styles right now. Like there's a lot of little cute teacups and cakes, which reminds me of Lolita's. And like this patch. It's very Japanese. And then I guess her is a bit more realistic type of anime girl. <laughs> uh, and then there's the bleach inspired shirt. And then there's these shoelaces tying together a cape. I'm not sure what I was doing, but mm, I think it works. I think it's very cute. All together. And then there's like the cape is splayed out. And she has a sash too. Pirate sash. I think pirates wear sashes. Pretty sure. Uh, what else should I ink now? I think... I think maybe I'll be able to finish inking this actually. My roommate's still in her back, so... I got time. Not that I'm embarrassed, just... I don't want to be loud. I like being a quiet person. Well, not, not a quiet person, I'm not very quiet, but <laughs> I like being considerate. So, this right here, I guess, is like a... I think it's like a butterfly. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. I'm gonna... I'm gonna say it's a butterfly. And then this... is a necklace. At least I'm, I'm going to assume that it's a necklace. And... Ooh! It's a candy necklace. Yeah, good idea. These are, you know, like those... Those necklaces that are like... Smarties on a string. Oof. Having more technical difficulties. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna finish this up soon. I want to make all these little chain things different sizes and, and shapes. Make some of them like diamonds and diamonds facing the other direction. <laughs> Much variety. Very amazing. Wow. If you can tell, it's been a day. <laughs> Not much has happened. <laughs> I don't do much. But I have decided that I want to finish this today. I think I was trying to make like a lid over here. Kind of like the shape of a lid. But I didn't do it on the other side, so I'm just... I'm just gonna make a little circle in here so I hope it's overlapping. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, I want these to be more cartoony than realistic. The, the teacups and, and the cake and all that. I don't want them to look too good. <laughs> not, not that they look amazing, but I want them to look more like a cartoon than anything because I would think this is a cartoony hat and how do you make cartoons on a cartoon? I guess by just making it even more cartoony. I'm not very good at making cartoons. I just want to make everything look semi-realistic. <laughs> I tried very hard with the stars. They, they're more cartoony than I would generally make them. Because stars aren't really that shape. Stars are circles. <laughs> sort of football or something. There's something there. I don't know. Should I keep it in? Hmm. Nah.
It's not that cute. I'll make fringes. I'm just kidding. Not cute. Wait, those guys have like teeth. <laughs> oh no. Oh well, skulls are still kind of cute. And this little dish that it's sitting on. I want this to be shaped a little bit better than I actually did. And then also, I did some fringe on, on this. Although I think this one looks better than the one I did on the TikTok. Maybe I think uh, some lines would be nice. For me, if I just got into it now. I think it would make it look kind of like a flower. Yeah, that looks nice. I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> what is this? Kind of looks like a... Like a snake. With ears. Like a cobra. Hmm. Wonder what it's supposed to be. I guess I can make it a butterfly. Right? Let's make it a butterfly. And then here will be the body. It's gonna have a long cartoony snake body. <laughs> it's a terrifying butterfly you got there. Let's see, there we go, that's a butterfly. And now the other wing. There. Now it looks like a butterfly. Well, kind of, it looks like a butterfly right there. Very long tail, but I think that's fine. Now the crown. Oh, I think I was making like fluff around the bottom portion. And then this metal part. I would guess it has jewels on it. This looks kind of like a Pope crown. I'm not sure if that is a technical term. <laughs> the Pope crown. I guess because they have a cross. Or a f weird flower. Not sure which. <laughs> like how I drew this and I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think I have to make the shape a little bit better. For this. Yeah, that looks fine. Right now it looks like a rabbit hat. I guess now it looks like a frilly rabbit hat. There we go. Yeah, these are definitely crosses. Okay. That's cute. Now what is this? This is a, a teacup. This is not a teacup. <laughs> Maybe this will improve my English. <laughs> Not sure what kind of decorations I was trying to do here, but yeah. It kind of looks like a ribbon. That's pretty cute. I'm not sure if I want to do all those cracks and whatnot. I think this is kind of like a flower, so I'm gonna kind of make this a flower. There we go. Like a three-leafed flower. I'm sure there are some flowers out there that only have three leaves. There's lots of flowers in the world. And here's a little strawberry. Dots. <laughs> I 
and some whipped cream. On top of a cake. More frosting. And here too. I guess this is strawberry cake. I want to make this more jagged. Like actual filling would be. It's not just a perfect straight line unless you're, I guess if you're like a really, really good baker. And here's a strawberry. Here's another strawberry. And another one. And another one. They're all like little half hearts. Here's the bottom of the cake. They have a really good cake to frosting ratio there. And Looks like it would be a nice cake. I think it's on top of like a doily. I think that's what they're called. It's those little things that grandmas make. At least my grandma. <laughs> my grandma makes them. I'm sorry if you make them and I called you a grandma. Hmm. Anything else I need to do? Finishing touches. Just that right there. That looks nice. Can make this better. Mm. And here. Yeah, I think that looks cute. Now I have to do the rest. The eyelets. And the cord. What is this tip of the shoelace called? Oh. I have not watched Phineas and Ferb in a long time. Aglet. There we go. I think it's an aglet. I'm not sure. Doesn't look like a very comfortable cape, but you know. I guess she lost her string and had to just tie with her shoelace. I suppose they should pinch together when they're connecting here. They should pinch a little bit. Get a little smaller. But I think I just shade it so it would appear like it's being pinched. Instead of actually drawing it smaller. It's already, I already drew it. And here I put some creases for the curve of the cord being inside of the cape. I wonder how she got it in there. Hmm. Oh, I guess with like a safety pin. A lot of people use safety pins to put cords back into slots that they go into. Uh, I don't know why, why I always just like doing this part. I guess because it's, it's a bit more boring. Like, I guess if you're into fashion and stuff, you're like, oh, this is the best part, making the clothes. But for me, I'm just like, uh, it's not the face. <laughs> I've, I've got no comment for that part. <laughs> just is hard to draw. Especially when you don't have one. And now the sash. Thing. 
Jessica Sash would go up here, touching her leg, and fold over itself. I want to make a little indication that it's folding. Like right here. I also did that, but I forgot to do it on the sash. Now the thigh. I think there should be like a slight curve. Because generally people have a slight curve there. Well, people who are more in shape. Here's the shoulder. I think I wanted to make it a little bit higher. But that's fine. That's a nice noise. The sound of a pen scratching against the paper. Almost done. Oh, I forgot. I have to outline the edges of the bandages. I wanted to give her Nice, like, street fighter can look. I don't know. <laughs> where else? Mm, I think only the edges where the bandages are open to the skin would be where I would want to put that. So I guess now it's time for this strange shoulder to shoulder pads. <laughs> They're very squarish. <laughs> I have one shirt with shoulder pads. They are surprisingly nice. <laughs> Comfortable, I mean. I'm not sure about the, the fashion side. Fashion police, please correct me. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there we go. Oh wait. <laughs> oh, I said it was done so many times now, but, but yeah. I think I will be done after these last little touches. And maybe I'll come back and color it. I don't usually color things, but I don't know. Maybe I can try. It seems like it'd be a bit of fun. Start getting back into art again. Okay. I'm gonna leave this off here. Um, see you next time, people of the internet.